day today and a lovely afternoon enjoying the heat of the sun as we cross and walk along this path and hearing the good news from the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I couldn't imagine that I will be saying this in front of you know, people. I couldn't imagine this day until today it happened that I'm here right now delivering the word of Jesus Christ. Before, I was just an ordinary person, same as you, who is a sinner, or who was a sinner. And when I came to know Jesus Christ, when I proclaimed His power over me, I was freed from that sin. And I'm sure, if you are hearing this right now, if you've heard the preaching of my brothers and my sister earlier, and if you have an open heart, an open heart to receive the prayer that my brothers and sisters are preaching now or are sharing with you, then you will have the same experience as I have experienced. You know, my brothers, there is a story in the Bible. Well, I believe this is a real story about Saul. He persecuted Jesus, um, he persecuted Jesus Christ and his followers. He even killed them. But what did the Holy Spirit or what did Jesus do? He came unto him and commanded him to stop persecuting the Christians. So my brothers and sisters, if it's not us who's gonna change your life, it is God. If you persecute the Christians, if you are rejecting the word of Jesus Christ, which is the word of love, which is the word of forgiveness, then it's not us who's going to come into you. It's Jesus Christ who will appear to you because He is the Son of God. And the Son of God has the power, the power to change your life because God is our Creator. I know that you don't believe because we only believe what our eyes can see. But as Jesus said, as Jesus said, if you have faith, if you have faith, you just have to believe. You just have to believe in the power of love, in the power of forgiveness that He offered to you. By being crucified on the cross, by being crucified on the cross, and bear all of the sins and arose from the dead. The rising from the dead of Jesus Christ confirmed that you have been forgiven from all of your sins. So my brothers and sisters, we must open our heart. As my brother Richard said, open your heart. What is it about that that is not or that is um, stopping you from receiving a good, you know, a good news, a good gospel. What is it that's in you that's stopping you from receiving a blessing from the Lord? That if you receive Him, that if you receive Him, if you receive Jesus Christ in your life right now, He said that you will have blessings. But more into that blessings is it's the promise that we will all go together when He comes. We will all go together in His kingdom and partake and rejoice and rejoice in that new world. So my brothers and sisters, right now, if you are hearing this, God has appointed people right now. If you are seeing some signs there, Jesus heals, in Jesus we find hope. Go, accept Him. It wouldn't hurt, it wouldn't hurt if you 
If you are curious about Jesus Christ, if you know Him by His name, but if you don't know Him, if you don't know Him fully, then this is now the right time for you to open your door. So for you who is walking right now, if you came across about Jesus Christ, and if someone shares with you about the gospel, don't reject. Don't reject. Because if it's not us, it will be God who will come unto you, just like as He did with Paul. Or maybe, we don't want this to happen, but of course, Satan is also in competition with God because he would like to take over God's throne. So if it's not God who's going to come unto you, it is Satan who is, who is the creator of death. So which would you like to be? Or which part would you like to be? Is it with God's part who is the creator of life? Or is it Satan who is the creator of death? You choose. You choose right now. My brothers and sisters, I leave you with all these words. We have free will. We are not here to force you to believe. But we are here to share the gospel of the Lord. Because we do not need to actually coerce people. To coerce people to believe in Him. To believe in Jesus Christ. Or to believe in the Bible that we base our belief. Because the love or whatever it is that Jesus did on the cross, that's already, that's already the love that He showed unto us in order for us to receive Him. And also the life that we have right now, that's, that's the evidence that we, that we should, you know, love Jesus Christ or love God. Even though that we do not see Him, but the complexity of this life, the complexity of earth, is the evidence that God exists. So my brothers and sisters, I will leave you with all these words. Thank you and have a blessed afternoon.